Hey guys, this is Hydro from X Trades, and in this video, I'm going to be going over uh, the major indices, and basically, um, yeah, we're going to see what could happen in the coming weeks to the couple months, and just yeah, just brief um, market analysis. So let's start off with uh, SPY and QQQ. So um, yeah, let's take a look at the S and P. So this is the weekly chart. Um, let me remove these charts. So right now, or in the last uh, couple weeks, we made a pretty big move, right? And then we were consolidating for two weeks in a row, and that was healthy action, right? We made a big move, we were consolidating, and then this week, uh, we we had a pretty clear breakdown, and uh, that's pretty, or that's not that, that's not a good look for bulls, right? So um, first. This is clear resistance, right? We rejected here, we rejected here, and we tried to break out and rejected once again. So this 409 level is definitely a very key level. And there's also a short-term uh, uptrend forming over here. So as long as this uh, uptrend holds, bulls, bulls are fine as long as they can bounce off this trend line. But if we lose this trend line um, one time, then there's a very good chance that we could flush a lot more. So this is very this trend line is very key right now, and uh, this is the longer term trend line, right? This one we broke a while ago, and we made a big move off it. When we broke it, we had two uh, two up weeks, um, and they were pretty good moves as well. And then yeah, like I said before, we consolidated, and now we're breaking back down. But as long as this uh, lower uptrend holds, then I think we are still fine. So that's what the spy looks like on the weekly time frame. And um, yeah, the key is to bounce off this trend line and reclaim this 409 level. And then if that happens, there's a good chance that we could start a new uptrend and actually have like an actual rally, you know? Um, yeah, this rally was very short. We had two good weeks and then consolidated for two weeks and then again, popped back down. Um, and let me take a look at the daily chart. Yeah, so... Like I said before, this trend line is very key. We want to make sure that we can hold on to it. Um, and uh, yeah, here was a trend line that was forming. And uh, if we do bounce, then that would also be another, another resistance level. So if we bounce off this trend line, then uh, we have to watch out for this trend line as well as this would be another resistance uh, uh, for the bulls. So that's, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm looking for on this buy. All right, next up, we'll take a look at QQQ. So QQQ, same thing, but uh, much, much deeper. Uh, much, much deeper pullback initially. But we broke that about five weeks ago now. And when we broke it, we made a very good, we made a very nice rally. We had a very nice rally consolidated for two weeks and now we're breaking down again but we'll see what happens right um so there is some support this is major support right 268 every time we uh touch that level we bounce uh we undercut it here and then we bounced we um we touched it here and then we formed hammers and then bounced so this 268 level is a key uh support level for the qqq and currently we're forming Forming a little bull flag here, right? Uh, let me go down to the daily. It'll, it'll be easier to look at. So um, yeah, this was the short-term uptrend that the QQQ was forming, and it was holding that for a couple weeks, and then last couple weeks we broke it finally. Uh, and now we're forming a bull flag here, right? So very strong uptrend. Consolidated, consolidated, tried to break out at the bull flag, but failed. But we're still in the bull flag, and now we're testing the lower um, <clears throat> lower trend line of the bull flag. And if we break down, there's a good chance that we could flush all the way back to 268. Um, but before that, there's also some support at this uh, 280 level. So if we break this uh, trend line, there's a good chance we can flush very quickly to 280. And if that fails to hold, then there's a good chance that we can drop all the way back down to 268. 
So what bulls want to see is um, you want to start testing this trend line, right? The upper trend line, start testing it, and then finally break out, and there's a good chance that we can power higher. But um, yeah, so bulls want to make sure that um, they they hold on to this lower trend line, bounce off, bounce off the next week, and then test this upper trend line, and then break out. That would be the ideal scenario for bulls. There is also um, some support on this 292 level, 293. So we want to make sure that we can re we we want to make sure that bulls can reclaim this as quickly as possible. The longer we're under this uh, line, then the more bearish that we get. And also there's a good chance that we could just chop around for a couple of uh, weeks to months, right? Uh, let me go back to weekly. So we've already been consolidating all the way from like last uh, April Right, so there's a good chance we could just keep chopping around for quite some time. After all, we had a very big run, right, from 2020 to 2020, uh, end of 2022, basically. We had a two years, we had two years of a very good run, so there's a good chance that we could consolidate for a very long time as well. So always be open to that scenario and know that it doesn't, there's, there's, just because the market is open doesn't mean you have to trade, right? You want to be trading when the probabilities are in your favor and that's usually when there's a bull market or when there's a clear direction right and right now we just don't have that so uh, it would be very smart to be patient and just wait for this to play out okay now we'll go into some individual tickers uh, we'll start off with uh, tesla so tesla has been holding up extremely well for the last couple of weeks Really nice volume, right? Look at the volume before, look at the volume now. Very clear capitulation volume. And uh, yeah, the bulls are holding up this one up really, really well. So while QQQ was going down this week, Tesla managed to go sideways. And that's a very bullish sign, right? This is a clear example of relative strength. And um, if QQQ, or if the market reverses and if tech, um, if tech gets a rally again, then there's a very good chance that Tesla can uh, break out and make another leg up higher. And if that happens, first target would be 230, around this 230, 231 level. And then final target would be 313. And um, yeah, so you just want to wait for this uh, upper trend line to break. That could happen as soon as early as, early as next week. And uh, yeah, if we can take out this 205 level, I think that'd be pretty good. Uh, that'd be uh, that'd be clear confirmation that Tesla is breaking out. And um, yeah, I think there's a good chance that Tesla can run a lot higher, a lot higher here. Um, but yeah, overall Tesla looks pretty good next week. Now we'll take a look at Nvidia. So Nvidia had a very nice uh, earnings report last Thursday. And on Friday, put in a consolidation bar, which is also bullish because the market was gapping down, but Nvidia was uh, managed to uh, just put in an inside bar and hold on to this 229 support level, which is very key. So Nvidia could break out as early as uh, next Monday. So we're forming a little flag here. Another day of consolidation would be nice, and then if we break out or if we break <clears throat> the highs of uh, Thursday, so 238, 239 level, then that would be a good, uh, that would be a good uh, uh, name to go long on. So yeah, Nvidia has a lot of room to the upside as well. Has no resistance till 267, so this would be a good risk reward play. And you can play with the tight stop loss. So this 229 level is very key. If we lose that, then there's a good chance that we could gap fill. So um, yeah, very good risk reward play. Another stock that's been acting really well is uh, uh, Monday. So this stock also had a very nice earnings report last week. And uh, yeah, we pretty much just consolidated. We pulled back here, but now we're consolidating. And uh, we're holding on to this upper trend line. And if we can break this 158 level, I think there's a very good chance that we could see the next leg up for this stock. But yeah, right now this stock uh, is acting very well. It's in a stage one base so it's been forming a base for almost a year now and i think this one's finally ready to go 
has all the char characteristics of a big winner. Has the big volume. Has the good earnings. Um, yeah, this one looks really good to me. Uh, we'll also take a look at AI. So AI is a stock that you definitely want to be paying attention to, right? Look at the volume, right? Look at the volume before and look at the volume the last couple of weeks. This one has this one has a very clear surge in volume, and it's a sign that institutions are loading up into the stock. And uh, AI is also definitely a very clear or very clear popular theme right now. So there's many eyes on this, and if this one goes, there's a good chance that it can be a very very big winner. So definitely want to keep your eyes on this one. Um, but yeah, for AI. You just right now it's consolidating it's been consolidating for like two weeks now and if we can break this upper trend line there's a good chance that it can break out and uh yeah like i said before this one has massive massive volume so if this one breaks out it could make a very big move um next up we'll take a look at netflix so netflix is finally breaking down it's been acting very strong the last couple months um, yeah, it's always testing the upper trend line, but this week it really, really flushed, or it really flushed hard. Um, we first broke this uh, uh, lower trend line, and uh, yeah, we basically lost support, and then we gap filled, and now it's been, now it's, or on Friday, just put in a consolidation bar, but uh, if it loses this uh, 3, 313, 314 level, there's a good chance that we could go a lot lower. Okay, um, let's do one more stock. This is another stock that's been on my radar that's been acting very well. Huge volume surge from earnings report. Um, yeah, this is Nerd Wallet, um, but yeah, it has very good, very good earnings report. Very nice volume. Now this one's starting to shape up here, um, forming a little flag. It can use more consolidation. Ideally, it tightens up, puts in more consolidation, and then around this area we break out. But this one has been has been showing um, tremendous relative strength, right? We were forming a base, and I finally broke that base um, on that on that big earnings report, and now it's been acting very well. And now it's just consolidating, and there's a good chance that this one can get all the way back up to like twenty six, and uh, yeah, potentially higher. But this one's been acting very well and one that you definitely want to keep your eye on. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys for this week. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have a great trading week next week. Thank you.